Gotcha. Decorations are one of the few things in the game that make you powerful. Decorations and augmentations, I would say. And so finishing your decoration collection is not only tedious and difficult, it takes forever. And if you don't want to be playing this game for 2,000 hours to unlock all of the rarest decorations, then you'll want to listen up to the advice I have here because I have great advice on how to farm for them efficiently. But also I'm going to be telling you how to use the Elder Melder efficiently. And I will finish with telling you how to do the Elder Melder glitch AKA is a save scum. I'll tell you how to do that as well. I, I also want to point out, I'll be able to tell the Xbox players how to do it the best way because I actually play on the Xbox and I fiddled around with it and I found the best method. So I'm going to be doing that in that order and I hope you guys will stick around for it all. Phase stones are a tempered investigation reward. You're interested in unlocking the warped and the worn phase stones because they give you a 5% and a 2% chance of unlocking the very valuable S tier decorations. If you just focus on the S tier decorations, all of the decorations underneath it will naturally become unlocked as you pursue the decorations with the lowest drop rate. So the question is, how do I get more warped and worn face stones. You want to get yourself into tempered investigations. There's two types of tempered investigations you want to get into, threat level 3 and threat level 2 tempered investigations. Threat level 3 investigations include Kirin, Nergigante, Kushala da Oda, Teostra, Valhazak, and probably Devil Joe. The threat level 3 investigations actually have a lower drop rate for the warped face stone. 13% as opposed to 26%, literally half. But the reason you should still be interested in doing these is because you get a 12% chance of a warrior's streamstone. Those are used in augmentation and a 3% chance for the hero streamstone. Those are used in augmentation for the rarest weapons in the game. Okay, so you need those streamstones in order to upgrade your weapons. It's one of the only other ways to become powerful in this game. And so the reason I would prioritize those threat level 3 investigations first is because you're going to get those augmentations completed. And once the augmentations are done, you're going to jump right over to the threat level 2 investigations. Threat level 2 investigations do not have a chance for a hero streamstone, and they only have a 3% chance for a warrior's streamstone. However, they have a 26% chance for the warped face stone. That's the highest rate for the warped face stone, and it's really what you're interested in. So let's recap real fast. You need these warped face stone and worn face stones for a 5% and a 2% chance of the rarest decorations in the game. If you focus on unlocking the rarest decorations, you'll naturally run into the other decorations, so we're not going to worry about any of the other face stones. You're going to get yourself into tempered Elder Dragon fights. I would focus on the ones that give you at least three rewards. Four would be better, and five would be best. As you fight the tempered Elder Dragons, you'll begin to unlock the warped face stones, which will give you a chance for those very rare decorations, but also you're going to unlock the stream stones that you need to augment your equipment. Once all of your equipment is augmented, you're going to swap over to focusing on threat level 2 monsters so that you have the highest drop rate for warped face stones. Threat level 2 monsters include Azura Rathalos, Regular Rathalos, Basil Guse, Black Diablos, Diablos, Lava Seath, if I'm saying his name right, Legiana, Odogarin, Pink Raytheon, and Uragon. Okay, and that is going to be how you should farm for your decorations in an efficient way. Okay, so let's say you're farming and you're farming and you got all these decorations coming in and you're getting duplicates that you're never going to need because you only need like three decorations for a skill. Some of the some of the decorations require five for a skill, so pay attention to that too, right? And what's going to happen is as they begin to pile up, you're going to save up your points as well. And then you're going to eventually go over to the Elder Melder to perform something called a First Wyvern Ritual. It's a transaction. You're going to choose the Strange Stream. Strange Stream allows you to trade in a whole bunch of points as well as a whole bunch of decorations. And in return, the Elder Melder gives you Worn Face Stones. I call this re-rolling because that's basically what you're doing. Okay. Now recall, the Worn Face Stones only have a 2% chance of an S tier decoration. So when you're doing this transaction with the Elder Melder, you're going to have to do a lot of these in order to get even one good decoration, even one decoration that's hard to unlock. So I've been doing this for like 600 hours and I still have decorations that I still need and I've turned in hundreds of decorations to the Elder Melder, okay? 
So let me just give you a quick tip in case you didn't notice this because I know when I started I didn't notice this either. When you're filling out the melding points needed, you'll reach a point where you're at the end and you only need, let's say you only need four more points for the melding points needed. The game will actually allow you to put in, I don't know, like a decoration worth 64 points and it will just eat it up and not count it toward your next transaction. So you have to be real careful that you actually use a decoration worth four points. You don't want to waste it. Some other tips I can mention is that you're not always able to see all of the decorations that you currently own because when the decoration is equipped, it won't actually tell you that you can use it even though it exists. Probably the last tip I would give you is be sure you know how many levels there are to the skill of the decoration you're turning in. Since some decorations, you only need three of them, you can turn in everything except for the last three, but then there are other decorations where you need five or even seven of them. So you wanna make sure that you will always have seven of them in reserve or you'll be trying to earn them back again. That's especially important if we're talking about like the defense gems, the attack gems, critical eye gems, you know, you don't wanna just be wasting those. And that's it for the Elder Melder. There is one other thing I'll mention is that every time you perform the first Wyvern Ritual, the game will save to make sure that you can't look at the roll that you got, decide you didn't like it, and then just restart the game. It doesn't allow you to do that. And that gets us on to the next point. How to save scum the Elder Melder. So I think the first thing you guys need to see is the list of S tier decorations so that you know when you've run into an S tier decoration. Okay, because we're going to be testing for these. After that is pretty simple. What you're gonna be doing is save up a bunch of decorations, save up a bunch of points, and you're gonna create a cloud save before you begin trading with the Elder Melder. You're gonna do a whole bunch of transactions with the Elder Melder. If you don't get one of the S tier decorations, you're just going to back up to the cloud save. Really straightforward. Now let's say you spend a ton of your decorations and you do like six or seven transactions with the Elder Melder and then at the end you get an S tier decoration. Well, there's even a way to be more efficient about that. What you're going to do, keep track of how many transactions you've done with the Elder Melder, and then what you're going to do is you're going to back up to the cloud, right? And when you go over to the Elder Melder, if you're trying to get that S tier decoration from that previous save point, right, the cloud save point, you're gonna to have to do all those transactions all over again because you have to keep rotating the Elder Melder's loot table. Instead, what you'll do is you'll go play some investigations. And every time an investigation ends, the loot table will move by one or by two. Okay, so if you've seen like six or seven transactions go by with three warp stones and the one you want is at the end, you need to play, you know, three or four investigations and that's gonna get you a lot closer to that S tier decoration without using as many of your decorations in order to get to it. Does that make sense? Okay, so keep that in mind. The Elder Melder's loot table moves when you've done an investigation. Now, for the PlayStation, it's really easy to perform this save scum glitch because you can simply create a cloud save wherever you want to, or you can save your profile to a USB card. Since I don't have a PlayStation, I'll simply leave a link in the description. If you really need to see how that's done, you can click on the link and you'll be able to see all of the steps for it. Now moving on to the Xbox, the Xbox is more complicated because the Xbox constantly saves to the cloud in the background. You can't really control it too much. I guess the first thing you should know how to do is how to actually back up to your latest cloud file, right? So remember, Xbox is constantly saving in the background. So even right now, if you were to go back up to your latest cloud file, you'd probably lose like one investigation, but hey, you would be at your cloud save file, right? And what you do is you're gonna manage your game you're going to go down to your save files. It's going to give you some delete options where you can delete from console or delete from everywhere. Don't hit delete from everywhere. That'll get rid of your cloud save files and it'll remove all of your console saves. You want to choose delete from console, okay? Make sure you're very awake when you do this and very sober and take it slow. Don't be in a rush. 
right? So choose delete from console. And when you load the game back up, it's gonna pull your latest cloud save, right? So you've successfully backed up to your previous cloud save. Remember, Xbox automatically created that one for you. But again, I think the way that it works is the Xbox tracks how many times the game has actually saved. And I believe every three saves, that's when it creates a cloud save, right? That poses a big problem for working with the Elder Melder because you can't do multiple transactions because every time you do a transaction with the Elder Melder, it does create a save, right? So the trick for the Xbox players, here it is, the trick is to unplug your Xbox from the internet. Make sure that you've disabled the internet and then you can do as many transactions as you want with the Elder Melder. If you didn't get any of the S tier decorations, you'll go in, delete from console, plug your Xbox back into the internet, right? Then you're going to have access to the cloud again, load your game back up, and it's going to pull that cloud save down, and you didn't spend any of your decorations. You have them all back. And again, to move the Elder Melder's loot table, you'll go ahead and play some investigations, right? And then after you're done with the investigations, you know, it depends on how many transactions you did with the Elder Melder. Let's say you did 10 transactions. Go play, I don't know, 20 investigations, come back, do the whole thing all over again, right? You'll test for your cloud save file. You might lose an investigation doing that, or maybe you can try saving three times and it'll actually generate a cloud save file for you there, right? So test for your cloud save file disconnect from the internet, do all your transactions. If you get what you want, you can just stop, plug your Xbox back in and play like normal until you get another cloud save, right? But if you go through all those transactions and it was all for naught, right? You didn't get you didn't get any S tier decorations. That's the case where you'll delete your save from the console, plug the console back into the internet and pull your cloud save down when you load, you know, the, it'll happen automatically. When you load your game, it'll get the latest cloud save file. And that's the trick for the Xbox players. I hope you guys appreciate that. I want to thank everybody who left a tip in my previous video. The, it was a fairly popular video. I want to thank you all for giving me that tip. I, it works terrifically. And uh, yeah, so let me know how it goes for you. I can tell you from somebody who's very experienced in the game at this point, just playing the game naturally, you're probably going to unlock all of the decorations in about 2,000 hours. That's my guess. I'm already at 600, and I have plenty of the S tier decorations left to unlock. And I even have used the Elder Melder Save Scum glitch to give you an idea of how the drop rates are treating me. <laughs> all right, well, I want to thank you all for watching. If you want to help me out, you could share, like, comment, just interact with the video. That really helps with how YouTube ranks videos. So if you feel like this video deserves to be ranked higher, go ahead and help me out by interacting with the video. And with all that being said, I hope I'll see you guys next time. Really? Oh my gosh, you guys! I just want to thank y'all so much!